Hey everybody, Mark here with Apple Tech One Tweet Videos, and today I'm going to do the app review on Splash Top, personal edition. Let's get started. When you launch the app, this is the page you'll be greeted with after you sign into your free account and download the Splash Top streamer on Mac or Windows. On the top left corner is the refresh button to refresh your computers. And on the middle, it says it's a personal edition. Over on the right, you have your settings tab. Below settings is the share option also. The help button is located in the bottom right corner and the in-app purchases option is in the bottom left corner. And it contains two in-app purchases that you can get. It's the Anywhere Access Pack and the Productivity Pack. So let's take a look at them. The Anywhere Access Pack lets you access your Mac or Windows computer and you do not need to be on the same Wi-Fi connection which is good if you're traveling away from the office and you need to access a quick file and you're not on that same network as your computer. The Productivity Pack is a must have for anybody. You could configure shortcuts and gamepad for stuff like Microsoft Word, it's very neat, and Whiteboard, which is very, very cool. You can draw on your screen. I'll show you more on that in a little bit. If you are on that same Wi-Fi connection as the computer, it will show up right here. And on the far right, you have this settings button, and you can change the resolution of the screen that will be displayed on your iPad. To connect, all we need to do is just tap that computer, and it will automatically load up, and it will bring you a hints and gestures menu. And now, as you can see, we are running OS 10 Mountain Lion on our iPad. The really neat feature about this is that you have the ability to control every single thing on your Mac or Windows computer just from your iPad. And you can do this on your iPad, iPad mini, or a device in the Android market that has that. So you can see I can just go through some internet pages right here. If I want to, I could edit some files, type a couple emails, whatever I want. If it's a little small, because um, computers aren't optimized for touch, you can zoom in and your mouse seems to stay, stay, stays the same size, but your screen gets bigger. So you can just use one finger after you zoom in to move around the screen. And yeah, it's just really cool. What's neat about this is that I can also control it from my Mac. So even while it's being streamed, I don't need to touch my iPad to change what's on my iPad. What I really like about this app is that if you have two monitors like I do, you can switch from one monitor to the other. So you're not limited to be working on one. You can work on both at the same time. And again, I can do whatever I want on this monitor, just like I did on my first monitor and just like I can do on my Mac. You can pop up your keyboard by using that button and you can just type out some emails, some articles or documents, whatever. And it's the same exact keyboard that you have on your iPad. So you're going to be familiar with that type of keyboard. Now with this keyboard, we do get a couple of added features. We have the delete button on the top as well as our left, right, up and down keys. So we can go through and edit something and not use that horrible magnifying glass that Apple's had you stuck with forever. You also have your F1 through F12 keys, as well as a tab button, which I've really missed from the iPad because I love the tab button. We also have escape and my favorite, the command key. You just tap the command key and choose whatever led you want. I'm just going to quit the application. I do Q and it automatically just quits that app for me. And we also do have alt control as well as shift. So let's take a look at the bottom toolbar. First, we have the end connection next to the help button. Then you have the option turn rotation lock on or off. And there's this cool little scrolling feature. When we enable it, we can go to Safari and use this as kind of just like a scrolling bar. So instead of using that two finger gesture, we can just go up and down and use that. Next to that is the trackpad, which I've previously showed you. And again, I've also showed you that monitor switcher. And right here, it will go from sharp to smooth, which is a very cool feature. So let me demonstrate that for you. So if I zoom in on some text in the menu bar, I'll switch that right here for you. And as you can see, it got blurry, but it's going to make it much smoother. So that just went from sharp to smooth. And now I'm just going to go back from smooth to sharp. And as you can see how the clarity increases right there. And finally for you right here, we do have our arrow keys, just like you would see on that keyboard that I already showed you. Now on this side is in-app purchases. So right here you can add in-app purchases. There's your whiteboard as well as some editing tools. So this is the editing tools and it would be very, very good for if you're working in a document, you can copy, paste, cut, save, open a file, undo, redo. 
you can preview something, a whole bunch of different cool things. And next we have one of the coolest features and that is whiteboard. So it's whiteboard, you can just draw on your screen and you get tons of different little pens that you can use also. So you can highlight something like this one. The last one that I showed you was a pen. You can also make figures right here as well as enter some text. If you messed up, you can also erase this as well as erase all. And there's also something that's like a laser pointer, kind of. You can't really see it that good on a black wallpaper, but you can kind of see it a little bit right there. Right here is your undo and redo buttons, as well as a new fresh desktop to draw, draw on. Here, this is the presentation tab, and you can click the first one, and it will kind of put like a little black covering on there, so you can expose a little bit of it. You can expose the top, bottom, left, or right. And the next toggle is a spotlight. So you can put a spotlight on one single thing. You can zoom in or out by pinching. Over here is the hide button, as well as a new blank white sheet to draw on. And you can take a screen capture of it and it will save that to files on your desktop, which I'll show you in a second right here. And the next button will show your snapshots as well as your flip chart, which is essentially just another, um, place where you store your different desktops. So it will put a folder on your desktop and you can open that folder and it will take you to your snapshots that you've previously saved. I'd like to take a minute to thank the people who sent this app out to me to review. I really, really do like it and I highly recommend it to anybody that wants to use their iPad as a Mac or Windows computer. If you want this app for yourself, I'll have a link in the description below. It'll take you right to the App Store and you better hurry and download it now because it's regular 20 bucks, but it's on sale for two right now in the App Store. And I'll also have a download link for the Mac or Windows software. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions on the app, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.